so go nowhere. Let's create. La feijoada is a Brazilian black bean stew. Very delicious. Traditionally, it consists of dry meat as beef as well as salted type meat like pork but you don't have to really go like that because back in the day lack of refrigerator or working or people that work outdoors and they were gone into the wilderness you know they needed the meat to be preserved so here we're going to do the same thing but a little bit easier so instead of the carne seca, which is dry meat, I'm going to go with this. Uh, you can go with a short rib, boneless uh, beef. I have one here. Some people call this country uh, ribs. Do whatever. You can substitute that for the dry. That way you don't have to invest too much time. Um, I have these sausages. And typically in Brazil, they go with the smoke, calabresa, and the paella sausage. If you cannot find them, they speak Portuguese. I'm going with the Portuguese ones. I'm going with the Portuguese chorizo, and I'm going with the linguiza, which is a, linguica, which is a Portuguese sausage. Um, for the amount of beans, which is the store, Go with dry black beans, put them in water. You can do this four hours before, preferable overnight. Same with the dry beef if you're using that. Separately from this, put it in water. Same with the salted one. You know, and put it overnight. So that salt start coming out and whatever. Um, for the amount of beans, which is two cups and a half, I'm going to use three bacons. I'm going to chop them, by the way. Uh, Relatively thick, but three slices of uh, three uh, slabs of bacon. Optionally, optionally, I'm going to have some pork feet. That's optional, and I have here some salted pork. This one I chop. I didn't have to, but I chop it anyhow. Clearly, you're going to need salt, pepper. Oh, half an orange, traditional Brazilian style. Half your yellow onion, about eight or 10 teeth of garlic, you're going to chop, same with the onion, and about three bay leaf. Um, clearly you're going to need other minor stuff like perhaps oil, which you're going to need and stuff like that. So if you happen to have some dry meat, instead of this is the dry meat, which you really don't need because you can use that, Make sure you put it in water, like cooking it for about 20 minutes. I'm going to do the same for that for the uh, pig feet because I want them to be a little bit, you know, softer. But for the other stuff that's salted, you know, you do that to clean it up a little bit. Um, but the dry meat or the pork feet, put them in water and kind of boil them for about maybe 20 minutes. Put it medium high. It's been 20 minutes. So if you have dry meat, you use that. I have some pork feet. I wanted to soften the salt a little bit. So I'm going to move them to this pot. You can use a Dutch oven if you want to. Like this cast iron. And in addition to that, I'm going to add the beans. Two and a half cup. I drain the water. Couple bay leaf. Actually, let me go with three. Let me mix things up a little bit. And I'm going to add water. You're going to add enough water. And let me add a little bit more. You want this thing to cover the beans and to cover, if you have any dry meat or something like pork feet, 
that takes a long time to cook. Now is the time to put it, okay? Because you're going to leave this in water, taking care of business for about 30 minutes, okay? Let me go medium high. I don't want to go too crazy here. Medium high. And of course, add your orange too. And these babies are going to be here, as I stated earlier, for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later. Woohoo! So what do I going to do? Well, what I going to do, I going to remove that orange. Put it aside, I, know I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to add these sausages. Also going to add the beef. And because I have some salted pork that didn't need to be well, earlier, I'm going to add some of them too. Some of the salted pork. They call it salted pork, but truly it's not the salted. Some chunks here and there. Let me move things around. And I'm going to cover, I wanted them to cook good, especially the sausage and the beef. So I think I'm going to let it go for maybe 15 minutes, if that makes sense. Let me add this chunk here too. Let me do it for 15 minutes, okay? And then I will review. 15 minutes, let me take a look. Yeah, they look like they're cooked already. Yeah, it looks good. So what I'm going to do, and actually I could have gone 20 minutes. So what I'm going to go, do, I'm going to remove the meats that need to be cut. Let me get the beef out, the sausages. Let me lower the heat for now. Let me put it too low for now. And I'm going to cut this into pieces, okay? And then I'm going to put them aside. So I got some beans out using something like this. Got the water. You don't want no meat or anything. What I did is I just took the water out, transferred here, and I'm going to smash them with a fork. Three slabs of bacon, three slices. I cut them in pieces. I put a little bit of oil. Could be extra virgin, doesn't matter. What I'm going to do, let me break this down because I don't want them sticking together. I already cut them. Add the garlic. It's is sharp. I'm going to add the onions. Mix everything together. And I'm going to add the beans, which I kind of make the space out of them somewhat. In essence, what I'm creating here is like a thickening step a thickening ingredient that's going to be added to this delicious meal. It's going to go from here to here. And you do this for about
after about two or three minutes, you don't want the bacon to get too cooked, but you don't want it raw. So about two or three minutes, okay? Keep mixing it, moving it, creating the nice thing. You're going to add the bacon with the bean paste that you just created, the onions, add the good stuff. going to mix it, mix it well with the beans, and you're going to let it go, I say medium, let's go uh, medium low, so add those flavors, mix, leave it on cover, don't cover it, give it a quick taste, Wow, add some salt to your taste. You can add pepper too if you want to. Don't go crazy, don't go crazy. Do your taste. And if you want to put some black pepper, do it now. As you do this and let this thicken a little, Go to the next step and start cutting those chorizos and that meat that you put earlier. Do you notice I didn't put this because I left them there. They were already cut. I have my reasons just to add that, you know, pork flavor. I left the patitas, what I call patitas, uh, pork feet there too. So the flavor continues. But I'm going to leave this alone. And I'm going to relatively quickly go and cut the meat. So I cut one of the chorizos. I'm going to leave the casing on. I like how it tastes. Let me cut the other, the sausage. I already cut the chorizo. Let me go with the sausage. Put them aside. I'm going to cut this into the meat, the beef. You're using uh, boneless ribs, that's fine. Counter ribs, that's fine. Going to add the meat, which I already cooked. And I'm going to mix it good. And this is done, by the way. This for you add uh, is done, but I want to mix everything well. And I left my stuff in casings. I could have taken the casings out if I wanted to. You know what, I like the casings. See how beautiful. So you can eat this with rice. If you have rice, go long grain. Add you stuff here. The fair water. And you can add some Brazilian farofa. Link in the description on how to prepare this farofa. It's very easy.